wasn't intending on doing this one, but I've got a good one for you. I just had, I had pizza with some uh, friends of mine tonight. And of course the subject of Trump comes up. You just can't, can't run away from it as much as we might want to. Um, so I'm recording this on June 19th, 2024. Of course, the debate with Biden is coming up. And a lot of the things we've been talking about with my friends is, will the debate even happen? I mean, uh, James Carville, I heard him saying that he was giving people 50-50, that, he's, that Trump's going to show up for this debate. So I don't know. <laughs> If it if if he didn't show, I wouldn't be shocked, but whatever. So you would think maybe there's a way of knowing, well, how about you follow the process of what's going on in the world? You kind of get insight, at least your guess is uh 50 50 <laughs> that he's either gonna show or he's not. Well, not 50 50, but I mean he's either gonna show or he's gonna not. And different things are going to happen. Well, anyway, would you believe that there is a psychic? I'm okay, of course there's a psychic who <laughs> who's made his. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like he's made his uh, thing with predicting stuff about Trump, which is <laughs> fascinating. I had no idea. This guy's name is Dave Johnson. Let me show you. I'm learning about him for the first time myself. Pretty interesting. So here's a guy named Dave Johnson, and he's calling this his moon ride channel. He predicts future events, the meanings of those events, trace channel messages from spirit. Okay, it could be mediumship or channeling. Uh, benevolent spirits show me images about what is next on our horizon and our karmic connection between earth and spirit. He teaches channeling shaman journeys and do like past life regression okay he's also got these channels for uh tarot and channelers and pyramids he's got thirty one thousand subscribers which is far more than i have um almost 500 videos he's been around since 2011 and he's from australia so why is he really channeling donald trump i don't know so if you look at his videos um, he is getting a lot of views. Well, you know, here psychic predictions will Trump lose his mind before the election. <laughs> He's got 63,000 views. This one is moving to Canada is not a strategy. 9,000 views. This one is, and there's just one day difference. So it shouldn't make it that much. Uh, Dave Johnson and Jen Bushman of past lives, 3,000 views. So obviously it looks like Trump here. This one's got 35,000 views. When he talks about Trump, it looks like the views go up. Oh, Trump nears jail. His debates fail. 109,000 views. So it looks like people are really interested in uh, the topic of Trump whenever it comes to psychic predictions. And I mean, we can have an answer. We have answers. There will be an answer eventually. Maybe it feels like it's going on forever, but there will eventually be an answer. So I, I find it fascinating when somebody is going to make a prediction of something that is knowable because if you're right well then that could be a big deal but if you're wrong i guess you just have to say oh well i just got confused or i was sort of right or remove that video <laughs> or something like that let's take a look at one of the videos this one right here this looks good will trump lose his mind before election um or how long for how long will donald trump go to prison that looks interesting um, so in other words, he's saying he is going to go to um, jail. Putin fails. Trump nears jail. What should we pick on? Trump on trial. Mm -hmm. Stormy rocks Trump's election interference case. That's 39,000 views. Trump meets his loan shark. Oh, I, I'm just so curious. Which one should we pick? Let's just pick the most recent one because why not? all right let's let's take a look at this and i'm channeling the man in the moon today uh as you might notice i'm gonna have a different background here i'm actually uh traveling in europe i'm gonna try to give you a little image of what i can see from my window it's kind of bright but i think you can see that right isn't it cool um and i'm looking very shiny i think that's just the light i'm not really that shiny 
just so you know. This is a political reading, and I'm going to take a look at Trump. Uh, I want to know, um, you know, he's losing it. Look, you just look at a couple of videos of his. He's just a rambling maniac. He's already um, starting to uh, work his way out of uh, debating Biden. And that's going to be the question. Uh, will he totally lose it? Will the um, people who support him get that he is just literally going nuts? And uh, I should say, he's just probably, you know, no longer connecting the dots very well anymore. And uh, the third uh, question is, you know, what will he uh, actually debate? So, um, one other thing, by the way, is if you uh, put uh, heart in your responses here, uh, we'll pick one of them and the amazing Jacinta will give you a read. Finally, um, and that will be a tarot card reading. Uh, the final thing is, uh, please take a look at the Cosmic uh, Connectors Collective. These guys do the most amazing work. It's a group of channelers I'm working with, and they will uh, really uh, give you the answers to life's questions. Check them out. So let's take a look at uh, the, the Donald. Okay, if only life was that easy, we could just call up our channeler and, you know, <laughs> get the answer to our life's questions. That would be fantastic. So very personable man, uh, lots of energy, energy. Have a drink, everyone. Um, um, but, you know, energetic. He seems to have a lot of personality seems very like somebody you would want to sit down and chat with. I bet you would have some great conversations about things with him. Um, so <laughs> I know I'm laughing. Okay. It sounds like political opinion when he's saying, you know, Trump's losing it. He's losing his mind. He's, he's not connecting dots. That's, that's stuff we can see. We can, we can go and, you know, if you watch politics, especially if you watch channels that are uh, on the more on the left side, uh, you know, get your news from that side. Of course, you're going to think these kinds of things. So, I mean, how can you channel this? I mean, it's just it's your opinion. It's based on what news you're cons consuming and how you view the world and your how you're affiliated. So, okay, fascinating. Um, Let's 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 go a little bit further and see how much further we can get through this. One other thing I forgot to mention is uh, somebody sent me a link. I really appreciate this about a white buffalo that was born in Yellowstone. The white buffalo is symbolic of the um, you know, sort of a rebirth and better times coming. It's extremely rare. And uh, the um, Native Americans at that place, uh, it holds a special meaning for them. Let us take a look at the Donald. He just looks very kooky right now. You know, um, some maybe you know that postcard of it's a picture of Albert Einstein with messed up hair and the card says, you know, a bad haircut can make anybody look stupid. I think it was an advertisement for a salon. And it's, he's like that, just like you know, weird science guy, kind of nutty. It's like he's on fire. Mm -hmm. that, that would be like a great, almost like an analogy for what's going on in his head. It's like he's on fire. He can't stop it. He can't stop himself from yammering on about Hannibal Lecter and whatever crazy, crazy themes he's got in his mind. They all come together, you know, regular people could all see this before, but I think everybody's starting to realize that I could see Republicans going like this. Oh my God. You know, like how are we going to, how are we going to play this one down? Cause they could play a lot down. But the one thing that uh, Donald um, did have was charisma for some people. This is just a, not a, a realistic, yeah, he he can't stand up and make a speech. So every single rally is going to be a mess. Okay. <laughs> Even Stephen Miller. Even oh my gosh. Okay. I had no idea this existed. All right. I, I don't know why I'm surprised, but I'm surprised. So number one, why is this guy's eyes closed? I mean, is the sun getting in the room? 
but his eyes are closed for some strange reason. But yet he's talking about buffalo, a white buffalo being born in Yosemite. He's obviously thinking, and and you know, he, he it's not like he's trying to concentrate on the Donald, like he says. Uh, I mean, white buffaloes. Okay, so that's prosperous times. There's thing a white buffalo. Whoopie doodle. I did a Google search on white buffalo. Um, and apparently there was a white buffalo reported rare white buffalo calf born in Yellowstone, fulfilling Native American pro uh, prophecy. Okay. Could have meant a lot of things, I guess, if you want. Okay, fine. Oh, so I wonder if there's Native American prophecy uh, for uh, Donald Trump. Anyway. This guy uses the word cookie. I haven't heard the word cookie in a while. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, it looks, it sounds to me, this guy's just free associating his opinions of Donald Trump. I don't, I, he's already got uh, 1.4 thousand views and it's only a few days old, five days old. Gee, if you just had to, Pay attention to what's going on in politics enough that you'd be able to ramble off people's names and, and so on. And then you go and you sit in Europe in a nice little apartment. He looks very nice there and uh, has a nice view. And you close your eyes in front of a screen. Now, this is a live event. Uh, I've seen that uh, a lot of these mediums are getting um, a lot more views on their channels because they're when they're live than just recording something and then having it having it uh, edit and then editing it. So it's odd, but okay, cool. Um, and then you see the people in the responses here and, and I'll, I'll read a few of them to you in the chat. Somebody said, it disgusted me when he visited Congress on Thursday, all those MAGA GOPers just kissing his ring and bowing down to him, just horrible. And that's got 434 thumbs ups. So um, it looks like this guy, Dave Johnson has not only revealed his own political bias, uh, but uh, the people who are watching him obviously have a political bias. Some some other comments. Once he's gone and the dust settles, let's never say his name again. That has 172 thumbs up. This one says, I absolutely had no interest in politics. I thought that was for politicians. Ever since Trump came on the scene, I've devoted myself to being more informed and dispelling the lies. Another one says, evil little gnome, and that's in quotes. That's the best description of Stephen Miller that I've ever heard. So I guess he talks about Stephen Miller. And here's, here's another one. I am a psychic medium also, and I keep seeing him having a stroke or an aneurysm, but he doesn't die, but he's incapacitated. Another one says, I hope justice comes soon for Trump and his MAGA Congress members come soon. And here's one that's got a lot of caps. So important to not just vote for president, vote for Democrats down the entire ballot. That's how we make sure we have non-fascists at all levels. Another one, I feel Trump will have a huge stroke. <laughs> Another one, Trump becoming totally detached would be an act of grace and mercy for all of us and him also. It will literally take a much needed weight off. Please thank your guides for this message. So I'm not quite sure this guy is predicting the future or if he is like trying to put a put some if 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 you believe in cosmic whatever, put out a good vibe in the in the world out there to have this happen. Um so I'm reading the description for this specific video, and it says, political predictions, Trump will lose all competence before the election. Some people would say that he has already done that. Uh, that was my opinion. His conviction on felony charges has frightened him and deflated his ego. He will not be able to debate Biden. Spirit shows me Trump in handcuffs. This may be figurative. Trump is handcuffed is now handcuffed in such a way 
that he cannot move forward or he may literally be jailed. One good aspect of Trump, he has transformed us all and brought us closer to the light. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. <laughs> so that, it, that feels like what he's saying is that Trump's going to be in jail and he's lost his mind and he will not be showing up at the debate. But let's actually look at what he's he's written here. Trump will lose all competence before the election. Okay. Like I said, some people think he already has. And what does that actually mean? Okay. His, felon, his conviction on felony charges has frightened him and deflated his ego. Well, how will we know that's true one way or the other? I mean, I guess we could sort of say we believe that, but his supporters wouldn't say that. So how do we know um, that's true? Okay. He will not be able to debate Biden. So does that mean he's not going to show up and he will not be there? Or does that mean that he's going to have a bad debate? In other words, he's not going to do a really great job. And then what do you mean by not great or not good? By whose standards? Because I, I, that seems to be kind of vague. Now, if he said he will not show up, the debate will not happen because he will not show up. And it, I would like to even see a reason. Like maybe if he said, he says he has COVID or um, there was a crisis at Mar-a-Lago and he had to be there or Melania told him he couldn't debate or maybe he Trump was to say um, something, then that would be a way of saying that that would be a way of at least feeling like you're predicting something because you would say, this specifically is not going to happen and this specifically is going to be the reason. But he's not saying that. He's just saying he's not going to be able to bait him. Spirit shows me Trump in handcuffs. This may be figurative. So if he's arrested and he is in handcuffs, which I really doubt. Okay, then he then Dave is correct. If he is um found guilty, which we already know he has been, then that could be figuratively of having him in handcuffs. Or as he says here, Trump is now handcuffed in such a way that he cannot move forward or he may literally be jailed. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of court cases that he's um, hopefully probably going to have before the election, I doubt. But after the election, possibly. I mean, if he if he's capable of going to court, I, I don't I don't really know. This guy's being so vague that it kind of feels like it fits either way. Um, one thing, one good aspect of Trump, he's transformed us all and brought us closer to the light. What what does that mean? I I, I trade. I'd love to not have had these years with <laughs> with the Trump. I don't need to be brought closer to any light. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's tell that to all those people who died under Trump's uh, bad COVID policies. I mean, I think we could have saved probably, what did they say? 100,000 people or 200,000 people more would have, would have, um, we hadn't had people so anti-vaccine and more responsive and not getting and not getting rid of the the um uh preparedness that they were supposed to be doing i i don't think this was a good thing no so it's just very interesting um apparently he answers the question of trump and handcuffs trump's ego shot shattered trump won't debate biden and we are the transformation so no clue, you guys. Um, check this guy out if you want. Uh, it's different. Um, I didn't know about this kind of thing. But now that I've clicked on it, it's going to probably, he's going to be sending me my algorithms like crazy in my channel. Oh, my goodness gracious. He does seem like a nice guy. I mean, he looks very personable. And like I said, he probably is kind of a fun guy and he, to have a conversation with and 
we'd probably have some laughs, but really? Okay. Like and subscribe, you guys.